Aconitum, also known as Aconite, Mornchude, Wolf's Bane, Leopard's Bane, Women's Bane, Devil's Helmet or Blue Rocket, is a genus of over 250 species of flowering plants belonging to the family Ranunculaceae. These herbaceous perennial plants are chiefly native to the mountainous parts of the northern hemisphere, growing in the moisture-retentive but well-draining soils of mountain meadows. Most species are extremely poisonous and must be dealt with carefully. The name comes from the Greek a one-quarter euro i i i one-half i to the first i i i one-half, meaning without struggle. Toxins extracted from the plant were historically used to kill wolves, hence the name wolf's bane. Description: The dark green leaves of Aconitum species lack stipules. They are palmate or deeply palmately lobed with five a euro seven segments. Each segment again is three lobed with coarse sharp teeth. The leaves have a spiral arrangement. The lower leaves have long petioles. The tall, erect stem is crowned by racemes of large blue, purple, white, yellow or pink zygomorphic flowers with numerous stamens. They are distinguishable by having one of the five petaloid sepals, called a galia, in the form of a cylindrical helmet. Hence the English name Warnchude. There are two a euro ten petals. The two upper petals are large and are placed under the hood of the calyx and are supported on long stalks. They have a hollow spur at their apex, containing the nectar. The other petals are small and scale-like or non-forming. The three euro five carpels are partially fused at the base. The fruit is an aggregate of follicles, a follicle being a dry mini-seeded structure. Ecology Aconitum species have been recorded as food plant of the caterpillars of several moths. The yellow tiger moth Arxia flavia, and the purple shaded gem Eucalcia variabilis are at home on A. vulpariae. The engrailed Ectropic repuscularia, yellow tail U. proctosimilis, mouse moth Amphipyra traga pogenes, peas blossom paraphanes delphini, and myotype bathensis, have been observed feeding on A. napolis. The purple line Salopyr expremens, and leaf arata amica were found eating from A. septentrional. The dot moth Melancra persicarii occurs both on A. septentrional and A. intermedium. The golden plusia polychrysia manita is hosted by A. vulpariae, A. napolis, A. septentrional, and A. intermedium. Other moths associated with Aconitum species include the wormwood pug Eupithecia absiniata, Satyr pug E. satyrata. Atopia charpentirena and A. corticana. It is also the primary food source for the Old World bumblebee Bombus consobrinus. Uses, the roots of Aconitum ferox supply the Nepalese poison called Bic, Bish, or Nabi. It contains large quantities of the alkaloid pseudoconitine, which is a deadly poison. Aconitum palmatum yields another of the Bic poisons. The root of Aconitum luridum, of the Himalaya, is said to be as poisonous as that of A. ferox or A. napolis. Several species of Aconitum have been used as arrow poisons. The Minero in Ladakh use A. napolis on their arrows to hunt ibex, while the Ainu in Japan used a species of Aconitum to hunt bear. The Chinese also used Aconitum poisons both for hunting and for warfare. Aconitum poisons were used by the Aleuts of Alaska's Aleutian Islands for hunting whales. Usually, one man in a kayak armed with a poison-tipped lance would hunt the whale, paralyzing it with the poison and causing it to drown. Cultivation Several species of Aconitum are cultivated in gardens, having either blue or yellow flowers. They thrive in garden soils, and will grow in the shade of trees. They are easily propagated by divisions of the root or by seeds. Care should be taken not to leave pieces of the root where livestock might be poisoned. The hybrid cultivar AA, Camerum bicolor has gained the Royal Horticultural Society's Award of Garden Merit. Toxicology. Marked symptoms may appear almost immediately, usually not later than one hour, and with large doses death is almost instantaneous. Death usually occurs within two to six hours in fatal poisoning. The initial signs are gastrointestinal including nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. This is followed by a sensation of burning, tingling, and numbness in the mouth and face, and of burning in the abdomen. In severe poisonings pronounced motor weakness occurs and cutaneous sensations of tingling and numbness spread to the limbs. 
Cardiovascular features include hypertension, sinus bradycardia, and ventricular arrhythmias. Other features may include sweating, dizziness, difficulty in breathing, headache, and confusion. The main causes of death are ventricular arrhythmias and asystole, paralysis of the heart or of the respiratory center. The only postmortem signs are those of asphyxia. Treatment of poisoning is mainly supportive. All patients require close monitoring of blood pressure and cardiac rhythm. Gastrointestinal decontamination with activated charcoal can be used if given within one hour of ingestion. The major physiological antidote is atropin, which is used to treat bradycardia. Other drugs used for ventricular arrhythmia include lidocaine, amidrone, bretillium, flecainide, procainamide, and mxylatine. Cardiopulmonary bypass is used if symptoms are refractory to treatment with these drugs. Successful use of charcoal hemoperfusion has been claimed in patients with severe aconite poisoning. Poisoning may also occur following picking the leaves without wearing gloves. The aconitine toxin is absorbed easily through the skin. In this event, there will be no gastrointestinal effects. Tingling will start at the point of absorption and extend up the arm to the shoulder, after which the heart will start to be affected. The tingling will be followed by unpleasant numbness. Treatment is similar to poisoning caused by oral ingestion. Aconitine is a potent neurotoxin that opens tetrodotoxin sensitive sodium channels. It increases in flux of sodium through these channels and delays repolarization, thus increasing excitability and promoting ventricular chythmias. Canadian actor Andre Noble died during a camping trip on July 30, 2004 after the accidental consumption of aconite from Morn Chewed. In January 2009, the British curry killer Lakhvir Singh killed her lover Lakhvinder Chima with a curry dish laced with Indian aconite. On February 11, 2010 she was sentenced to life imprisonment with a minimum term of 23 years for the murder. Medicinal Use Aconite has long been used in traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurveda. Aconite was also described in Greek and Roman medicine by Theophrastus, Diosaurides, and Pliny the Elder, who most likely prescribed the alpine species Aconitum lycoctonum. Cultural Significance Aconitum features in literature and pop culture in a number of instances. In Greek mythology, Medea attempted to poison Theseus with a cup of wine poisoned with wolfsbane. However, Aegis, his father, interceded when he discerned his identity. Shakespeare, in Henry IV, Part II, Act IV, Scene 4, refers to aconite, alongside rash gum powder, working as strongly as the venom of suggestion to break up close relationships. The Kaya Gen Play Busu, which is well known and frequently taught in Japan, is centered around aconite. Wolfsbane is mentioned in one of the verses of the Wiccan Reed. The 1941 film The Wolf Man suggests people can become werewolves when Wolfbane blooms. In The Vampire Diaries, Wolfsbane is the counterpart of Vivane, which affects vampires, to debilitate werewolves and hybrids. In the television show Merlin the lead character Merlin, attempts to poison Arthur with aconite while under a spell. Wolfsbane is used in Ginger Snaps and its sequel as a cure for lycanthropy. It is later revealed that it does not cure the infection, merely delaying its effects. Wolfsbane in the Harry Potter series of fantasy novels is a toxic plant that can be used as an ingredient in the Wolfsbane potion, a potion werewolves use to maintain their rationality and conscience when transformed into a wolf. In the 1931 classic horror film, Dracula starring Bela Lugosi as Count Dracula and Helen Chandler as Minuswood, reference is made in regards to Wolfbane. Towards the end of the film, Van Helsing holds up a sprig of Wolfbane. Van Helsing educates the nurse protecting Minor from Count Dracula to place sprigs of Wolfbane around Minor's neck for protection. Furthermore, he instructs that Wolfbane is a plant that grows in Central Europe. There the natives use it to protect themselves against vampires. As long as the wolf bane is present in Mina's bedroom, she will be safe from Count Dracula. During the night, Count Dracula desires to visit Mina. He appears outside her window in the form of a flying bat. He causes the nurse to become drowsy and when she awakes from his spell, 
she removes the sprigs of wolfbane placing it in a hallway chest of drawers. With the removal of the wolfbane from Minor's room, Count Dracula mysteriously appears and transport Minor to the dungeon of the castle. Mornshude is the poison used by the murderer in the third of the Cadfarrel Chronicles, Monk's Hood by Ellis Peters, published in 1980 and set in 1138 in Shrewsbury. An overdose of aconite was the method in which Rudolf Bloom, father of Leopold Bloom in James Joyce's Ulysses, committed suicide. Wolf's Bane is used as an analogy for the power of divine communion in Liber 65 1-13-16, one of Alistair Crowley's holy books of Thelema, in the MTV series Teen Wolf, Wolf's Bane plays a prominent, reoccurring role, although portrayed a lot less poisonous to humans. In the NBC series Grimm, Wolf's Bane is rubbed on the person's skin to prevent a bloodbath from detecting their scent. In the TV series Dexter, the character Hannah McKay uses aconite to poison some of her victims. In the hit manga and anime series, Naruto, one of the main antagonists, Kabuto Yakushi, is named after the Japanese name for this plant, referring to the fact that he is a ninja with prodigious medicinal skills. In the manga and anime series, Katago Hitman Reborn, one of the main antagonists, Terikabuto, is named after the Japanese name for this plant. In the television series Midsummer Murders, Season 4, Episode 1, aconite is used as a murder weapon, mixed into fettuccine with pesto to mask the taste. In Dai Chang Goom, Choi put Wolf's Bane in the previous Queen's Food. In Episode 9 of the TV series American Horror Story, Coven, the resurrected Myrtle Snow poisons former fellow witches council members with mournshoed laced melon balls at a private dinner party hosted by Snow herself paralyzing them before gouging out their eyes with a melon bowler. In the last of the three alternate history novels of the Nantucket series by S. M. Sterling, On the Oceans of Eternity, the renegade Coast Guard lieutenant turned psychopathic warlord along with most of his high command, is poisoned with aconite-laced food by his own chief of internal security. Gallery Taxonomy Genetic analysis suggests that Aconitum as it was delineated before the 21st century is nested within Delphinium sensulato, that also includes Aconitella, Consolida, Delphinium staphysigria, D. requini and D. pictum. Further genetic analysis has shown that the only species of the subgenus Aconitum, a gymnandrum, is sister to the group that consists of Delphinium, Delphinium, and Consolida plus Aconitella. In order to make Aconitum monophyletic, a gymnandrum has now been reassigned to a new genus, Gymnaconitum. In order to make Delphinium monophyletic, the new genus Staphysigria was erected containing S. Staphysigria, S. Requini and S. Pictum. Species Natural hybrids, Aconitum, Ostriacum, Aconitum, Camerum, Aconitum, Herbeginum, Aconitum, Oenipontanum, Aconitum, Pelizersculum, Aconitum, Platanifolium, Aconitum, Zilbrucknery, References. External links, James Grout, Aconite Poisoning, Part of the Encyclopedia Romana, Photographs of Aconite Plants.